So it is now my pleasure to introduce Lord Darcy, who's done so much to lead in this area and was the senior author in the uh, Lancet commentary you saw in your pre-read to chair our opening session on three perspectives from policy to practice. Ara, welcome. Good morning. Thank you very much, John. Thank you for your leadership in this area. And I'm very grateful for the partnership of all the organization on the board here in terms of bringing us together around this important topic. I suspect all of us who are here will think, why are we here? We're here because I think we all believe that we're going through an amazing era in which we, for the first time, recognizing the value of health out of the data that we generate through delivering health care, health and care. And I, I wonder, we're back in 1948, back more than 74 years ago, the founders of the NHS would have thought that 70 years later, after creating a single-payer system with its amazing values, there will be a sub-product called data, and being a single-payer that provides us with the opportunities that we're currently seeing, whether these opportunities are on the public health, again, United Kingdom led that. The first legislation in the world in public health came out of this country, where we can actually study population and risk stratify populations uh, and intervene. Uh, and we're seeing that, as John said, Office of Life Sciences, whether it's genotyping, phenotyping, we're even talking about behavioral phenotyping which is extremely exciting. I wonder when we introduced the National Cancer Screening Program in breast cancer, anyone would have thought then that the thousands of mammograms that we're generating will lead to the development of an algorithm that could detect breast cancer better than the first human reader in the mammography service we have today. No one would have ever considered that when they set up the breast cancer screening program. So if I could just focus the mindset, these are all health-creating value opportunities for all of us. And I think today is for us to listen to the leaders in this field and where we wish to take this to. Uh, the other interesting thing there are many different organizations across the country. I think John very eloquently described some of the national bodies, NHSX, NHS Digital, beside the formal uh, departmental ministerial. There are a number of other organizations, including academic organizations, who are really driving the policy in this field. And I see James Ashoknessy here, who is about to publish another paper next week about the value of data. HDR UK, however, has taken a very unique role in enabling us in creating that value. And I'm very grateful to Andrew Morris, who's the director of HDR UK, who's going to be our first speaker, and his amazing team. And they gave me the opportunity back in August to chair one of their first calls on really stimulating the NHS and partner organizations to come together and create partnerships to drive this whole idea of value creation. 